Rainbow Dash! The engines and ponies were finding life difficult. Workmen were repairing the Crosby Viaduct on the main line. The arches needed re-strengthening. Sir Topham had did not want to close the Northwestern Railway while the work was being done, and so the job took longer than expected. The engines and ponies had to take great care when crossing the viaduct, and the delay often made them late on their journey to Ellsbridge Junction, where the new Thomas and Twilight were ready to collect their passengers. One morning, Thomas was very cross because Henry and Fluttershy arrived more later at Ellsbridge. <sighs> Come on! This is getting ridiculous! Time is everything! That's what Sir Tom Hatt says! I don't care what you say, Thomas! Safety always comes first before being on time! Really, Twilight? Why should I keep my passengers waiting while Henry and Fluttershy fool around on viaducts? Hey! Don't blame me and Fluttershy on this problem. It's not our fault that Crosby Viaduct needs maintenance every several years. Stones don't last forever, you know. She's got a point. Besides, if we hurried across the viaduct, it might collapse below us. And you and Twilight wouldn't have any passengers at all. What would you do then, hmm? Run our train on time as usual for one thing. He then quickly departed before Henry and Fluttershy could say anything else. Meanwhile at Tidmouth Station, Birdie and Spike the Dragon were getting impatient too. Normally they were timed to arrive after Thomas and Twilight, but because of the repairs being done at Crosby Viaduct, the passengers soon realized that instead of going straight from the bus to their train, they would keep on waiting until Thomas arrived. Soon, Birdie and Spike were getting crossed with these delays like their friends. Late! Yes, again! That's the third time this week! When is that viaduct going to be repaired? But before Birdie could answer Spike's question, Thomas arrived at Titmus Station 20 minutes late. <sighs> oh, great! Twenty minutes late. <sighs> well, Thomas, my friend, better late now than later. Sweet Celestia, I feel dehydrated. Even though we're friends, but I thought you could go faster than me, Thomas. I think it's time we had another race, and I bet me and Spike could beat you now. 
I'd like to see that happen. Thomas let off steam angrily. Oh, shut up! That's rubbish! It's not you and Spike to blame, it's those mainline engines! How so? Well, for one thing, they fiddle around on the Crosby Viaduct, then they blame Sir Tom Hatch Workman. It's just their excuse for being lazy slowpokes, if you ask me. That's enough, Thomas! Keep this up and I'll have you shunted at Timmy's sheds for the rest of the day! <laughs> By the next afternoon, James and Rary arrived even later than ever at Ellsbridge Station. <sighs> I'm sorry we're late, Thomas. Me and Rarity were held up at Natford Station, and the Crosby Viaduct made it even worse. I understand your feelings, darling. All this speeding and slowing down is making me dizzy. I had to work my hooves off to help James make up for lost time, and look at how it turned out! Just look at me! It's bad for my complexion! Well, it's lucky for you two that I'm a guaranteed connection. Before James and Rarity could reply, Thomas puffed importantly away. Come on, girls. No time for slacking. Annie and Clarabelle tried their best, but Thomas and Twilight soon found out that they couldn't make up for lost time. Suddenly, they saw Birdie ahead of the level crossing with Spike flagging him down. His overheated radiator was steaming. What's the matter, Birdie? You and Spike should have been at Tiv Mid Station by now. You two are later than us. Birdie, it seems your engine is overheated. How are you feeling? I feel awful. All upset inside me as well. And Spike says he can't make me feel better. I tried to fix his engine myself. But unfortunately, I accidentally set his engine on fire because Princess Celestia tried to contact me at a bad time. <gasps> oh my, that must have been terrible! Thank goodness you're late too, Thomas. Can you and Twilight take my passengers, please? They'll never be able to get home by foot otherwise. Of course I can. He now felt sorry for Bertie, and Twilight promised to get help at their next stop at Nafford Station. Soon, Thomas set off again, already feeling more cheerful with Spike riding in his cab, and Bertie's passengers riding in Annie and Clarabelle all reached their homes safely. When Bertie's radiator was repaired, he and Spike went to thank Thomas. I'm sorry me and Spike teased you and Twilight about being late. Oh, that's alright, you guys. I'm glad I was able to help you out of a jam. I guess there are times when being late isn't such a big deal after all. Thomas, that's the wisest and sweetest thing I've heard from you in a while. With their last cheerful greeting, the four friends simply went back to work.